this is, a, I think, a very good uh, charity event that we can raise some money for a lot of kids that need it. And coaches from across the state come together to raise money for a good cause. Details later in sports. Fisher DeBerry is the all-time winningest coach at the Air Force Academy tonight. He and five other head coaches from the Paul Meadows State's biggest big football programs, excuse me, gather tonight to raise money for a great, great cause. At the Columbia Marriott, the DeBerry Foundation held an event to raise money for single mothers and their children. All types of memorabilia was on hand for a silent auction, including items like Jadavion Clowney's hit from the Outback Bowl. Also up for auction were numerous signed pieces from USC Steve Spurrier, Clemson's Dabo Sweeney, SC State's Buddy Pugh, Walford's Mike Ayers, and the Citadel's Kevin Higgins. It's an event that all the coaches were more than happy to be a part of. Uh, we're, we're raising some money uh, for his foundation and in our fa uh, charities also. So it's a nice event we do every year. It's very easy for me to get here. Uh, Dabo and some of these other coaches have to travel a little bit. But uh, this is, a, I think, a very good uh, charity event that we can raise some money for a lot of kids that need it. As Coach DeBear has got the magic touch that way. He gets everybody together. I don't know how he does it myself because I know I haven't been able to get all these guys together this way but you know it's it's for a great cause and you know I think everybody enjoys seeing this affair each year so I'm excited about it again this year in 2013. It was just but a few here this room would be like crickets walking around here. There's something about giving back uh, as coaches uh, we try our best to come up with the best football team but there's other kids out there that might not be quite as fortunate and be able to, to have an opportunity to, to play ball or to go to camp. And uh, this affords, I think, us an opportunity to give back to the community. As I mentioned, Clemp Clemson's Devil Swinney was in attendance tonight. He did not speak to the media, but that may be because of an update involving him and the police officer that was fired after stopping Swinney. The officer dropped his lawsuit against the city of Pickens for wrongful termination. Michael McClatchy clocked Swinney going 63 in a 35 mile per hour zone last year. The city has maintained that McClatchy was not fired for ticketing Swinney. Of course, when there's a microphone and a camera in front of uh, the head ball coach, questions about paying players comes up. Spurrier and SEC Commissioner Mike Slive, as well as other commissioners from the power conferences, have talked about separating from the NCAA and, yes, giving players some sort of financial compensation. Here's what the HBC said tonight about giving players money. If the BCS schools separated a little bit from the others, uh, then we would be in position to maybe help out the football and basketball players who are really deserving. Uh, their sport brings in the money that, that funds all the other sports. So maybe that'll happen. Maybe it will, but the Braves are definitely happening, hosting the Rockies tonight in the ATL. Bottom first, Freddie Freeman with the liner.